Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday, happy hump day um, and welcome to this live launch on Hunky Dory Craft TV. It's a really um, nice launch actually and I'm very excited to show um, the products that we have on the show today to you. Um, my name is Natalie, I will be your air hostess for this hour but I'm not on my own because I have a very special captain with me. Over in the demonstration station it is none other than the amazingly talented Sheila Halliwell. Hello everybody, hello Natalie and Emily and good morning. It's going to be a good, a good day filled with lots and lots of stuff. We've got our brand new little books to show you along with the adorable scorable pattern packs. Now these launched on Create Craft quite a while ago but we haven't um, been able to show you them so we are very excited um, because they, we, are, we are very, very um, in love with some of these patterns that you get in here so I'm sure that you will be as well. Um, but before we start off our flight, let's have a look at our pick of the week. Have you got yours yet? If you haven't, um, head over to our website, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk um, and have a look at the Woodland Wildlife Collection. So it's the complete collection that is our pick of the week this week. It includes our toppers, inserts, concept cards and the beautiful paper pad that we showed you on, mo on Monday's show. Sorry, um, It's $34.97 all together and if you want to buy this and you want to do this via the phones um, the code you need to um, give the ladies is WWLIFEBUND I hope I said that right Emily because my eyes are like <laughs> <"Tell me this." laughs> so it's WWLIFEBUND and that is for your pick of the week which is the fabulous Woodland Wildlife Complete Collection so let's have a look now at what is coming up on the rest of the show so today we have our brand new little books to show you. Um, we've got little but large demos from none other than Sheila Halliwell. She doesn't do small demos, not at all. <laughs> um, we've got to show you our adorable scorable pattern packs and there's going to be a very adorable demo to finish off. So let's head over. Oh no, I've, I'm missing out, I'm getting too, I'm getting too <laughs> into this. Um, our Win It Weekly competition. We run our Win It Weekly competitions every week, clues in the name, Win It Weekly. Um, this week we are giving away our Golden Oldies Christmas Cracker Collection. This is, um, this is just, and it's a hilarious collection. If you like sending quite funny cards, this is something that is just fantastic. Um, and it's, it's so much fun. You've got sort of like all the all the oldies in there getting ready for Christmas. You've got the Queen of Christmas, um, you've got the people having drinks, the people eating their food. Um, it's great if I show you on here uh, some of the fun cards that have been made. So four people are going to be in with the chance of winning this this week. Um, the question is how do you make an octopus laugh? Um, is it Dan telling a bad joke? He makes me laugh a lot because his jokes are terrible. Um, is it B with tentacles? Um, which is, it's just the funniest. And then C with a feather duster. So how do you make an octopus laugh? Um, answer this question, you need to like, share and comment the video. Um, and then four winners on Friday's Thankcraft It's Friday show are gonna be picked to win that fantastic um, collection. One of my favorites for sure. So now um, let's have a look at a little VT and then we'll head over to Sheila to show you the first of our little books.
Oh, that was really nice, VT, there with some inspiration using um, some of our fabulous little boot pages that I'm going to be showing to you um, throughout the hour. So, first of all, we're going to show you the little book of Flower Children. Um, now, this is a new one for us. Um, this is all printed onto Mattastic as well. Um, as you know, we are fond, fond lovers of Mattastic. Um, but I think it works really well with this. We've got 144 pages in here. Beautiful, beautiful, very, very vintage artwork. Um, and if oh, I show oh, you, <laughs> oh, let's move it this way. There we go. Um, so you, as you can see, we start off. I, I'm not sure if this goes back to kind of. Does it go back to Victorian it era? Is it's quite like that. I think, I that's think why it I is. Like it, you know, because it's quite vintage and Victorian and quite old fashioned, but quite kind of cool and contemporary in the same way. Yeah, I think because we've put it on the Mattastic, it gives it that contemporary feel yes. um, for sure. But again, in here now, you can see, um, it doesn't actually just give you the flower it, it, and the fairy as well, uh, the children that are holding it. It actually gives you the name of the flower. Um, so as you can see, Christmas Rose um, is on here. We also have the wind flower. I think that's a wind flower. I've never heard of the wind flower before. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Then we have um, the spindleberry. So not only um, have you got the images here, it's again an educational tool as well. Um, so I love that one and I love the fact that some of these images are boys and some of them are girls. So they're very, very different. Um, we've got the lovely girl here with the snowdrop. What is really nice, I think, is that they've got nothing on their feet. Um, so it's like, you know, they definitely belong in the garden, in amongst all the flowers. This is lovely. I think the colours are beautiful, very earthy tones. We've also got, as well, um, some brighter tones, but there's lots and lots of details. So even in the background, you've got, like, this cracked effect to finish here you've got the borders going up the sides you've got the lovely lovely um artwork as well with beautiful um shading on here too really really pretty and not everything has got um the flower name on so if you want to um you know cut around it you can you can decoupage it and you can still um have a topper without a sentiment on so it's really really nice but look at this one poppy if you know someone or a little girl or a lady who's called poppy it's going to be the perfect one. It's like it's been actually made specially for all the poppy girls in your life. And then Willow, because some people yeah, have that's children a, that's called a Willow, new name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is quite nice as well. And this, you know what? This takes me back to when I was little. When I used to go to primary school, we used to walk um, up, the, up the main road. It's probably half a mile to school or something. We used to walk with my mum and we used to go past the old vicarage, big high wall. And then we would come to the old, like... Um, I think it was the river actually, I think it was like part of the River Douglas in Wigan. And overhanging from the river, over the fence, after the vicarage wall, was the biggest pussy willow tree you've ever seen in your life. And when it used to be in bud and come out, I used to pick all the little um, the like bits. fairy things off and take them to school. I used to pretend they were like mini hamsters. <laughs> and, and I used to just be absolutely fascinated with them. I know, it's that weird. But I was, remember, I was only about six at the time. So, <laughs> but... Um, Every time I see a pussy willow now, I've actually got some artificial ones in my house because I just love them. I love the feel of them. And the, that has just taken me straight back. I can see it now, clear as day, to be collecting them and putting them in my pockets and in the pocket of my school bag and then getting them, playing with them with my friend at playtime um, as mini hamsters. So there you go. Um, chrysanthemums, amazing, beautiful flowers. But look at this image. And I love the way it's almost like she's wearing a really big hat. I know, I was um, thinking that one with the poppy one as well. Yeah. It's kind of like behind her, it kind of looks like a, a hat made from the flowers. Definitely, definitely. But these are beautiful for cutting into. Here we've got violet, so we've got the violet flower. But wouldn't this be nice if you were making a journal, a flower journal or a gardening journal, or you were making, um, you're doing scrapbook pages of things that you've got in your garden. We've even got like holly here for Christmas. Isn't that lovely? I think because of the style of these as well, they'd be quite good for mixed media projects. Definitely. It's so kind of, um, I want to say, in my head I've got, I want to say they're a bit wacky, but then you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're very uh, sort of like, oh, I, I can't think of the word. Yeah, beautiful. But then not only that, look what you get. I love that you get sentiments. In you get pages means. of sentiments, which are perfect. Look at the colours as well. They're perfect. Go match, you know, they match with all the images that you see. Then we've got Honeysuckle, again that reminds me of, we used to play a piece in the band called Honeysuckle Rose, um, which is a really old piece of music, but again, it, this has got quite a lot of, um, 
don't know. It's it's bringing up memories for me. Blackberries. I have blackberries in my garden with lots of brambly bushes, and I noticed they've got blackberries on um, only yesterday when I had a walk out there. So, and then periwinkle, and then our last one is daisy. Look at this one. This is lovely. I really like that one. Um, so again, I there like are the, so many names. Yeah, I love the mirror image on there as well. So it's really, really, um, really, really nice. Very vintage, very, um, but contemporary as well. It's really, really lovely. We've got some card models to show you before we get into our first demo. And um, there's some really good examples of how you can use these little books because a lot of people see little books and you just see the size that they are A6 and you think, okay, well, only A6 could be made with that. But there's so much more potential um, with your little books just by cutting into them, layering them up, creating some nice backgrounds. And because this is on Matastic 2, you can bring your inks in like Jane's done here. And um, she's used sort of like, a, I think that this is probably rainforest green that she's used just to add that green color um, and make it all match. This is a really lovely one as well. Rachel's done this one using some Matastic um, and bringing in sort of those borders you get down the sides, but then cutting out the little people. And this one's an aperture. So this is totally different from that first page that you see. And I think that's what I love about um, little books and the samples that are created is that if you receive this at home, you would never know that it came from a little book. But they are so simple, um, really, really fun to um, make cards from. This one again is really great. Just using um, the different sort of things you'll have in your stash. This one's got the um, spotted colour families. Um, cutting out a couple of those flowers using that border again. It's really, really clever um, the way that you can make some totally different cards with these. This one is a great one here that Jane's made. This also incorporates some of that fantastic um, adorable scorable that we're going to show you later on. So lovely. There's just so much you can do with these. Use your dies. This one's absolutely, this one's really, really nice. It's beautiful. Kelly's done a really good job on that one. Beautiful. There's just so much potential for your little books. Um, and it, I love getting these back from the design teams and seeing what they've done with them. This one, another one from Kelly. She's used some um, Colour Families pattern paper pack. Some adorable scorable, and she's layered that up on there. The finish of these are really good. We've got one more to show you before we get into our demo. But look how, I love how every single one of those cards was totally different um, from each other. Not one was the same. So it really shows you how versatile they are. And to show you even more how versatile they are, let's go over to Sheila and have a look at our first demonstration. <music> Hello again. So what I thought we would do, um, I'm going to do a couple of cards and I'm going to do a little box as well. So um, I didn't want to do everything the same. I didn't want to do like decoupaging them all. So I thought what we would do is we would start off with a box. Now I'm going to be using some of our fabulous, adorable, scorable cardstock, which we are, well, Natalie's going to be showing it to you shortly. Um, we have six different kinds and I wanted to show how you can mix and match some of those cardstocks as well. I'm not going to be using all six, but I'm going to be probably using four of the six. So what I've done first, I've taken um, one of the beautiful, beautiful images. And I just, I don't know why I like this one. I think it actually reminds me of my great niece. And I don't know why. I just don't know why. I mean, she's very innocent looking, even though she is an absolute tyrant. Um, but this just reminded me of some of the photographs. She's just got a look of her and I really liked it. Um, particularly like the way she's got like these little leg warmers with just pulled up to her toes. Really, really lovely. So what we're going to do is going to use this. So I've taken some of the lilac um, cardstock, which is a watercolour wash, and I'm going to combine it because of the colour of her hair with some of the um, paper and wood. Those patterns work so well together. Don't they just? And you know, you would think, oh, it's not going to go, but but it does. So what I've done, I've cut a piece of card, and it's 17 by 21. So what I've done is I've just based it around, based the size around 
my topper here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score in at two centimetres um, all the way around and then we, that's now that's going to be our lid so we need to remember that we do it on the left side. So we're going to score down at two centimetres and then two centimetres again on the other end and Someone's just commented, Kathleen Davy has commented to say, good morning from sunny Rosendale. Oh! That's where I live. It is, isn't it? That is where I live. Uh, you know what, I never actually, it's weird, no one ever knows where it is. So it's really nice to have someone who's commented to say, hello from Rosendale. Because I, I tell people that that's where I've moved to. Um, I moved there about five years ago nearly now, but no one... Everyone's like, okay, where's that? Where is it? Do you know where what? That? Well, that's a really bizarre thing as well, Natalie, because I was actually in Rossendale last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drove up to see my uh, partner's dad, whose birthday it is today, just to drop off card and presents. Drop off some gifts. Um, so, and yeah, I, we waited till a bit later to go because it was sunny in Wigan. And I said, well, why don't we go after tea oh, yeah, it was so we can oh, see the sunset going over the light, over the oh, hills. Over the grain road. <laughs> yeah, over the grain road. It was absolutely boring down. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite rubbish, really. If we couldn't see anything. place where you're going to get bad weather, it is Rosendale. So, good morning, Kathleen. I'm glad you're enjoying the sun, oh. but I'm sure it won't be there for long. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Oh, that is weird, like you say. There's lots of people joining us today, though. That's good. Um, so thank That's you. Good. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, definitely. Lots of people guessing the correct answer. Although I'm sure if an octopus met Dan, they'd definitely be laughing. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> His jokes. His jokes on Monday were terrible. He does have bad jokes. He does have, have some bad jokes. Awful. He does have some bad jokes. Okay, um, I'm not sure. I was going to grab some red tape. Oh, there is some. There it is. I found it deep in the bottom of the box. Um, so we're going to put some red tape on. You can use um, wet glue if you like, but um, you probably will need to peg it just to hold it or put a bit of masking tape on just to kind of hold it. So um, just a little tip there, but we're going to use some of the red tape. Um, just on the corners here so that we can put this on and then says, oh sorry someone else has commented to say it's a beautiful place to live Nasley. isn't there a Fa Fitzpatrick shop there there is a Fitzpatrick shop there I think it's the oldest one actually what is a Fitzpatrick shop what's that um, it sells like really old-fashioned um, like cordials I think oh really yeah it's really really nice um, it is a very beautiful place to live uh, isn't there as well? Isn't there um, isn't there a pie shop there? Like, is it sis, not sissy sissy pie? Um, no. um, or is that in? Is no, that, I that's think that's Haslingdon. That's that might be in Haslingdon. That pie shop. Okay, there's a pie. There is, is sissy know, green. Is it the Green's pie shop? No, there is, and they're all over Rosendale. And you know, I have a story about that. I was talking to Rachel. Yeah. Rachel's um, Sam. It's his auntie's pie shop. No way! Oh my goodness, this so, day gets even more weird as we go along, <laughs> doesn't it? This, this is we like... We talked about that last time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I keep saying I'll go to the pie shop because I love a pie. We do. But it's a secret recipe, isn't it, apparently? It's been going for, for years and years, like hundreds of years, I yeah, believe. It is one of, one of Lancashire's yeah. best pie shops. I think there's a little video about it as well on YouTube that we, we watched, um, and it was really kind of... Um, Perfect. It was really kind of um, interesting how they made the pies. Um, you just kind of get the pastry and pummel it in and then put the filling in and Bob's your uncle, it's done. Right, so what we're going to do now, looking at the colours on here, I thought, oh my goodness, this is just like it was meant to be together. Now, this is not fantastic. This is just a regular, adorable, um, scorable, but this is one of our um, abstract ombre um pieces and it just works so beautifully the colors are amazing so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little matte layer with this and i'm going to keep some of the um darker green and some of the lighter green um on show here so that you can actually just see it and that will pick out some of the color from this beautiful artwork so there we go so we're going to pop this now on top of the box. Before I do that, I rummaged through the um, ribbon box 
in our creative room. And I grabbed some of this ribbon, which I absolutely adore. I just love this ribbon, it's beautiful. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on, because again, the colors work so well. So what I'm gonna do is pop it into the inside of the box and just gonna cut it so it's a little bit straighter like that. And that's gonna go just inside there. And then we're gonna bring this all the way around here and here like that. And then we'll pop a bit more double sided just so that's gonna secure it in there. Am I right in thinking, Natalie, as well, that um, all our little boots are three for two, aren't they? They are. On they the are website. Three for two. So if you like all three of the books I'm going to show you today, you can get them all for the price of two little books. Or if you've um, maybe wanted a little book for Christmas that's coming up, or if you want a little book for a certain occasion and there's one that you've wanted for a while, um, you can add that too, so it's across all of our little books, our three for two, so any little books that you've been wanting, if it's just one from this collection um, and one that you've wanted for a while, why not just get three, because you're going to get one for free. Definitely, definitely. I'm just going to give my little glue a poke here. Um, yeah, I could hear um, someone had called earlier on this morning, customer had run customer services to put an order in, and I heard um, one of our lovely ladies saying, so which one do you want? You want that one? You want that one? Okay. So you just want the two? And she said, well, you know, so they're always on a three for two. You might as well get three. Always on a three um, for two. And I think the lady was quite surprised. Um, she said, well, you might as well have three and you can go back and choose, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a newer one, whether it's an older one, it's three for two. So it's a really, really good deal. When you imagine, um, we need to do some maths here. So if we've got if you've got three of the A6 ones, how many pages would that be? 144 times three. Uh, three. Out comes the calculator. No brains involved here. <laughs> uh, what would it be? 344, 88, 122. Would it be 422 something? Close. Oh, she's very close. 432. Very close. Very close. Not bad, not bad. Um, that's a lot, isn't it? And then, but then if you've got the square ones as well, if you went for square ones, yeah, um, it's, not, it's not just the A6 ones, it's not at all, all of them, so not at all, right? So, we're just going to trim this down now to 17 by 21. So, I'm just going to grab my beautiful hunky dory pencil, in fact, let's do it that way, and then we can. Um, so, we're going to go with the same size 17 by 21, trim this down, and then we will cut this. Uh, sorry, once we've cut it, we will put it onto the scoreboard and we will make the base. And the beautiful thing about the scoreboard, I know that loads and loads of you out there have scoreboard, um, but the beautiful thing about it is you can cut two pieces of cards exactly the same size, score them, one on the left side, one on the right, and your box and lid will fit together perfectly. Okay, so this time we're coming from this side, so we're doing two centimetres and two centimetres here. And it's very important that you do do what Sheila's doing and turn it round every single time because as we all know, when I did the box challenge, I tried to do two and then do two from the other two end. This, yeah, it, it doesn't just, work. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't work. It you doesn't. You always turn your card stock. You do. Um, but the results are absolutely perfect when you finish. It's weird, isn't it? Because your natural instinct says, and I don't know how how that works, that you must kind do of it yeah at do it just point. like yeah like you do two inches at that side, two inches here or two centimetres and it ends up that it's like, oh my goodness, it's not right. Yeah, we spent many hours doing that when we first got the scoreboard. Going, this isn't, why isn't this working? Why isn't this right? Um, but yeah, just remember that and you will be fine. So a little bit more red tape on here. And um, remember as well, if you are gluing, um, the matte-tastic will hold, I mean, Adorable Scorable holds construction glue really well anyway, but with the matte-tastic, it does grab it much quicker because it's not got that glossy coating on. So if you wanted to use construction glue, you can do that as well. You can use your white craft glue, your PVA glue, whatever you want to. 
um, I think it just it just does hold um, re a little bit quicker should I say the bond is a bit quicker it still holds strong bond however um, whatever you use it on but it just dries a little bit quicker because it's uncoated and the red tape does stick all over you as well it's all over the wall along the there's a pillar next to my desk when I use this tape the pillar um, just seems to grab the red backing strips so the red is all over the wall next to my desk which is really weird but I know there's a good tip to use your um, kitchen roll piece of kitchen roll and when you take the backing off just put, put it against the kitchen roll and apparently that um, actually does okay so now we've got our little box and what we're going to do now is we're going to just cut I'm going to do just a tiny bit of decoupage here so I want to cut her pleated sleeve because that is the little bit that will be prominent but I think even though we've made the box from what is quite contemporary cardstock the lid of it just tones in beautifully it makes it perfect. doesn't it make it like vintagey I think it looks absolutely amazing I think it makes it look really kind of old like an old treasure box or something yeah. that you'd find from Victorian times um, so we pop a little um, foam pad on here just trim that corner off and we're going to pop that onto her just so the sleeve stands out a little bit like that and then we are also going to do her little my favorite bit which is her little like sock come leg warmer it's really cute and Lynn says she's still waiting for her construction glue to be dispatched there with them um, with bank holiday last weekend there was a tiny little delay because obviously that's three work three three days there where parcels hasn't haven't been sent out to you because of the weekend then bank holiday so there was a little bit of delay um with getting your parcels out to you however the team are back on um the previous day so i think so if you put an order in yesterday they are sorting the, through those today so we are on schedule again um so i'm sure your construction glue will be with you very very soon lynn yeah everything's it's... back now everything's back in stock that wonderful stamping press the trimmer the extra magnets for your um stamping presses the extra trimmer blades for your trimmers so if you've been waiting quite a while for that you can go online and you can get yours today yeah everyone uh, even people down at create craft who've got a trimmer were saying oh my goodness i've not been able to get the blades <laughs> I was like they're not in <laughs> you'll have to wait that like, oh, but i love my trimmer i can't my it. this is other guests you know <laughs> i was like well i'm sorry you just have to wait it's we, not available i mean yet. we even haven't been able to get new ones no we haven't we no have to wait it's it's very sad having to wait it is sad having to wait we hate waiting we hate it's it when we out. know that it's going out of stock um, right, so I'm not going to do anything else with that. I'm just going to, I just like it because I think the colours tone in. We've used three different lots of the cardstock that Natalie is going to be showing you. A little bit of tiny, tiny, simple decoupage. Um, and then you've got that lovely little um, purple base as well, which matches perfectly. Um, imagine now making maybe three or four little A6 cards with envelopes using a mix of these toppers or even the same top that you've got here and you've got enough in there to actually do that maybe make four cards um, to put in the matching box sell them on your stalls um I but there you go really nice little trinket boxes definitely definitely each side at home. definitely really really easy to do um and again just 17 by 21 that's what it measured it looks really really good. um and again it just i think it just picks out the colors beautifully okay so next up we're going to have a look at those fantastic um adorable scorable pattern paper pattern pattern cardstock packs I, I i couldn't get that out then um so this is the first of six this is our denim print pattern pack and this is lovely this is mattastic so three of these that we're going to show you are um matte three of them are on our regular adorable scorable same properties throughout 
it's absolutely fantastic. So on these denim print patterns, you have, you can see there is different shades of denim, denim. So you've got a lighter shade, you've got the bluey shade, you've got the really nice sort of washed denim. Um, but you can see throughout, this one's sort of like that acid wash jean. I love, love that one. Um, you've got this one that has a really nice check to it. You've got the darker, real, probably, jean denim here. And then you've got those ones that have beautiful patterns throughout. So this one's a really nice floral detail. You've got stripes. And you've got another, this is kind of like a, a diamond sort of crisscross shape throughout. But that is our denim packs. So there's 24 um, sheets you're going to get in these packs. I've just shown you eight of the different patterns. So you get three of each. Three of each, is that right? Yeah. Maths is not our strong point. So you get three <laughs> of each for $7.99. But if you want to buy three, you can get it for $19.98, which I think is the best way to do this because these patterns are amazing. So that is your denim prints. Next up is your abstract ombres, which Sheila used before. This is beautiful. This is on our glossy adorable scrubble, so it has that nice sort of um, satin finish to it. Um, but these are just beautiful sort of, um, you've got that sort of cloud look, um, almost kind of looks like waves in a way, um, but it is really, really nice. This is great for die cutting, great for making quite simple cards with because the background's there, it's all created for you. This one is one of our favourites because we, we, um, we've all said that this one kind of looks like a beach. So you've got like, the waves yeah. coming up onto the sand. We've got this beautiful brown one. Your pink and purples. And then this luscious green, um, which Sheila used in her demonstration. So that is the eight designs you get in your abstract ombre pack. Then next up, I think this is going to be a favourite of everyone, is our Midnight Rainbows. So eight designs again, all in that beautiful black and rainbow colour scheme. So you've got the scales here, you've got those zigzag lines, some beautiful polka dots, some dots but in a different sort of pa pattern. These remind me of like disco lights. Yeah, those they're ones. Um, very disco, yeah. We've got some diamonds and then some beautiful chevrons. This reminds me of knitting. If you were going to make a scarf <laughs> to wear out, this would look fantastic. And then we have those beautiful um, love hearts as well. So that is our Midnight Rainbow Pack. So that's just three of the six. We're going to show you the other three a little later on, but before we do that, let's have a look at our next little book. It is The Happy Hippos over with Sheila. Okay, so this is a total contrast to our um, flower children that you've just seen. So again, eight, same size, A6 in, uh, in size. Happy Hippos, who can't be happy? Um, you know, not looking at this, you, this just brings a smile to your face. It's really beautiful. And again, it's very, it's very cute, but it's very contemporary as well, I feel. Um, I think that you could use it for, for babies, for newborn. Um, you know, you could use it for um, older, older children, young ladies. Um, I think it's really lovely. And the good thing about this one is you've seen we've got the images as usual we've got the sentiments but then I wanted to get to these because we've got these fabulous papers so again it makes sense for you to use this as a background um, and then you can add some of the elements which you will see we have added to this pad as well so let's flick down to the next design and there we go so here we go so you'll see You've got your little hippos here. So you've got like a baby and a, and a mummy or a daddy. You've got the flowers, you've got balloons, you've got stars, clouds, hearts, all these little bits that you can cut out. And these will go perfectly onto the background that we just showed to you a minute ago. Um, I think it's just so cute. It's just so fabulous. And our design team that have worked on it have really enjoyed working with it. They've done some fabulous projects. Um, I think you can really go to town with this. Look at these, how cute are they? I absolutely love this. 
you know, I mean, normally when you look at a hippo, you don't think it's kind of the cutest animal, you know, that you would... I don't think we kind of um, look at it in the same way that we do look at elephants. We always think elephants are really cute. Um, but I think this has actually brought a really um, nice change to hippos. Look at them. They're having an absolute ball floating around with their balloons. Look how lovely they are. I mean, that could be perfect for wedding, for engagement, for anniversary, for the birth of twins, for twins' birthdays. Um, just so lovely. And again, another background paper. So you can see we've got pink and lilac and blue hearts on there. Really, really lovely. Look at the chunky hippo. So sweet. But we've got lots and lots of different designs. Um, and I, I think people are going to love this. I think people are going to be um, really taken with this. And the lovely thing is as well, because you've got sentiments in here, you could do something really simple like this. This could be, this is perfect for someone who's maybe not very well or under the weather. This would be perfect. Um, you know, you just put a little bow on, sentiment, um, saying get well soon. Again, it's just a really, really easy way of making cards. And then, of course, we've got the hippo on the cloud as well, which is really, really cute. Then we've got the hippo having a little snooze on the cloud. It's perfect, perfect for babies. Perfect indeed. And then we've got <laughs> this one with the balloon again. And I think the, um, I'm looking at the flowers on here because they're kind of tropical. I think they are um, hibiscus flowers, if I'm not mistaken. And look at the little toes. Really cute, really cute. You can send that like to, on Valentine's Day. Lots and lots of different, different um, images in here. And I love the fact we've got this as well. So you can, if you've cut a hippo out like I have here, you can actually just sit that one in the middle. You know, again, fussy cut around here, make this as the front of your card, make an aperture card or, um, you know, shake a card. Look at this one, really, really sweet. Really, really cute. There are the two again, like baby and mummy. And then our final one, we've got the three of them on there. So it's really, really lovely um, book, I think. Everybody should have this because it just makes you smile. It makes you happy. So that is the happy hippos. So we're going to do a little demo with this. Um, are you going to show? Yeah, Natalie's going we'll to show, show some mix first. You can get ready. Yes. Um, so we have some really fantastic samples um, made with this. Um, they're oh. all really different and things that are more like home decor or gifts rather than cards, which I think is really lovely. Um, and it's just a perfect example of how. Um, how versatile you can be with your little book. So this is a beautiful sign that says new baby and it's got girl on but that would look absolutely lovely on the door of a nursery, a new nursery. Um, this is a really good idea. Sticking them onto little coasters <laughs> and making cute coasters from them. I, I love this idea. Um, it's really really fun and it's perfect for your little book pages. How about making a little gift bag? to put in with your presents That's or cute. if you want to do cards they look absolutely fantastic i love this um utilizing again some past dyes using your buttons from your button collection they are just absolutely the cutest little things again here like sheila said making congratulations cards for wedding anniversaries weddings mm -hmm. um, engagements and they are just honestly this one's very cute you are every nice word I can think of. And you have that beautiful Aww. hippo with that flower there, looking all happy. I really like this one. So Kirsty's made this one. She made it into an aperture card. <laughs> um, just by cutting up some of those elements that you saw in those element sheets. Um, it's a really nice way of doing something different. They look fantastic. Decoupaged, layered up. They just jump out at you with all of their cuteness. I like this one. So Jane made this one. It has an acetate front, um, but then it has those wonderful clouds in the background so that that pattern runs through um, the whole of the card. That one is lovely. And then again, this one that Rachel made, <laughs> utilizing those, um, those borders from the trees and making um, sort of larger cards with them. It's a really nice idea. And then Kelly, I have to show you this. Kelly has made a box like Sheila did. Um, for her first demonstration um, but this is filled with just cards so you could make these and sell them as sort of little like writing 
writing sets. Yeah. So you've got your book and then you've got your cards, which are just made up on A6 card blanks with those um, images on there. But I really like that idea. Um, writing sets are a really nice gift as well. Um, what a great way to utilize your little books. Sheila, I know you've got something special to show us. I'm very excited for this. One. Um, well, I'm going to um, make a background. So what I've done, I, I looked through the pad and I really liked the, um, the cloudy papers. So what I've done is taken two out and I kind of put them together. Um, I know we're, it doesn't quite match up at the top here, but we're going to be trimming this down so it doesn't matter. So if I show you, if you've got your, if you take the four pages out like this, so you've got the hearts and the stars on these as well. So what you can do, if you turn these two round like that, they will actually match up like that. So you can create like a, almost like a big sky, if you see what I mean. So what we're going to do, I'm going to tape those two together as well. And I'm just using regular um, sticky tape. So let's just do this on the back of these. Okay, we'll just hold those together. So they're taped together. And then what we will do now is we will put these together. So our clouds are more or less lined up here in the middle. So if I put those together and then what we'll do, so we're making almost like an A4 piece of, of backing paper really. But what I'm going to do then is trim it down. So I've got some of this beautiful um, cardstock that Natalie has been showing. Um, and in fact, this is probably going to be in the next batch. Um, you can see that watercolor effect. But because there's a, quite a lot of pink in the little boot pages, I figured that we should go with a pink. So what I'm going to do is leave a little white edge around here as well. So I'm going to just grab my pencil and I'm just going to mark this out. So it's going to be probably about seven and three quarter inches because we're putting it onto an eight by eight card. So let's get that put down first and then we can trim our paper to actually um, match. Okay, so this is gonna go onto here. So we can glue that on right away and um, just using the construction glue again, just the line all the way around. It makes life so easy, this glue. Okay, and then we will pop this into the centre. There we go. I'm looking at the camera just to check I'm central there. I think that one's okay. Okay, so now we've got our piece of paper that we've just kind of created ourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a panel out of it. Now it's up to you whether you go with a a chunk from here so you've got your big clouds or whether you want to do something a little bit more kind of abstracty and then you'll end up keeping this bit as well um, so we could do that and I think we will because then I might be able to use the other bits plus the advantage of doing that is if I push this up a little bit you can see that we've got the stars here now as you get to this point this is where your hearts are then upside down so I figure if we cut it along here and along here we're actually going to not have any upside down hearts on here so it won't be quite so obvious that we've put it together and made it look like a, a, a paper from four pieces so what we'll do then is we will just trim along there so I bring in the trimmer now this is where you have to be careful because obviously it's only taped together just with with tape at the back so I'm going to trim that and we're going to trim this and there are our bits which we can keep we can use those if we need to so then now this can go onto there like that and then we've got a sky now it probably looks better to you at the minute than it does to me because I'm right near it so I can see where I've joined it well that's okay so what I'm going to do now construction glue and because I have done separate panels here I'm not just going to go around the edge I'm going to actually go along here too so that I know that it's all going to stick down because remember these are separate pieces so we need to make sure that they're all in place um, firmly okay so let's just pop that onto there like that and again these are perfect 
for baby boy, baby girl, twins. Um, so what I've done, I've, I've grabbed like so many pages because I couldn't decide which ones I liked best. I was like, which ones do I like best? So I've already chopped some little bits down and these are going to go into the sky. Look how cute they are. And once we get those on pads, you can then cleverly disguise your um, lines, your join lines, okay? What I do want to do as well though, I want to cut this one out. So, we're gonna just cut around there. Now what I'm gonna do, just to make life easy, I'm just gonna cut the swirl off and we will just cut around the edge. Now it's up to you whether you go right up to the edge or whether you like to leave a little bit of a line showing. Um, that is entirely up to you. It depends on your cutting skills and whether you cut with scissors, whether you cut with a knife, that's entirely up to you. So we're just gonna go all the way around here. And this is a nice chunky image, so it's easy to cut out. So let's go all the way around like that. And again, as you're cutting, you'll see that there are elements on here that you could take off a second page and would be perfect to decoupage up. But I'm not gonna decoupage this one because I quite like it as it is. I like the, the big, just chunky flat designs. And let's face it as well, if you are posting your cards, at the moment, I think it's even more, um, imp not important, but easier if you can keep your cards flatter. Because at the moment, a lot of people can't go out, can't go to the post office and post things. Whereas you might be able to just, you know, um, get your neighbour to post it for you in the post box or you might be able to just walk to your post box that's, that may be just, you know, 100 yards from your house. So it's good that you can keep some of the designs flat as well. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to keep my design flat because this is not going to be posted, but just to show you that if you do want to keep it flat, you absolutely can. So let's get some pads on the back of here. Have you made any cards using this kit, Natalie? I using haven't, the, 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 this no. book in particular. The little books were um, all done when I was on holiday. Oh, so of course. I haven't made anything with these little books, but they are very, very cute. I think they're this really one cute. is going to have to be coming home with me. Do you think so? Most definitely. I, do you know what? When I looked at them this morning, I thought, mm, which, which one do I like best? And do you know what? It's really weird because I do like them all, but I do love those, those flower children. <laughs> They are very... Um, they're very different, they're very aren't they? different, yeah. And I think for... If you're not a card maker, or you like to do, like you said, nicely mixed media, or you like making different things, or you like scrap layouts, you like doing journals, or something a bit more oldie-worldy, I think they're really nice. They are. They're going to fit perfectly in with your mixed media project. Definitely. But this one in particular is perfect for scrapbooking. Absolutely. Um, scrapbooking for um, a baby, I think, is perfect. Definitely. You have your pictures in here, have your, if you're doing a journal, so you've got all like your scan pictures. Yeah. Um, they're going to look great, especially with the little elements that you get in these sheets because, and the, and the backgrounds, to be honest, because you can make up your pages. And if, you, if you're into scrapbooking, um, definitely have a look at our memory book. Um, dies because I think we still have some available and they're great for um, using with little book pages um, putting out and making your own journals from scratch definitely um, you know what I was thinking as well when you're just talking about that I was thinking you know wouldn't it be nice to actually get like a little scrapbook or, or make a scrapbook and then put some of these pages in and um, almost make like a little journaling kits that a new parent could yeah could yeah. do you know so you could put ribbons in and, and things like that couldn't you you know you really could um make it quite uh fun and something a bit different and again things like that because it's a bit different might actually sell if you're selling your your projects and your things that you make something like that might actually sell because it's a little bit different and people are always on the lookout for different things so do something in a kit form, um, you know, and then that's encouraging other people to craft as well. 
Okay, so we're going to just pop our little balloons. We're going to tuck them under there and they can just sit. They'll just sit right at the top of the card. And then we're going to cut one of these fabulous sentiments. So we've got Hippo birthday. Boom, boom. Congratulations. We've got especially for you. Have a lovely day. Birthday wishes. Love you tons. Big hugs and thanks a bunch. I am really liking, even though I like congratulations, I am liking this love you tons. So I'm going to cut the love you tons out. This would be a really nice card because you've got the children on there and you've got the, the sort of like adult hippo. It would be, be nice to give to like a grandparent. Yeah, definitely. You've kind of got like the family on there, haven't you? Definitely. Or oh, the other thing is, um, you know, lots of people come up and say, um, like for Mother's Day, I, I want yeah. a card for my wife. Yeah. Um, from the children so again you know it's something you could um you could make using you know using this you could put mum on it or okay so this little one here will now go over our gap we've not really got a gap you don't notice it and then what i want to do is grab my pearls so this is really simple but it's really nice to just sit and do something kind of um Nice. I, you know, everybody knows I just adore papers. I adore papers. Um, I have reams and reams of papers at home, and I just absolutely adore paper folding, making things from papers, and so I really enjoy cutting into things. Uh, let's grab another one of that size. So we're just going to do some random gems on here, different sizes. Let's pop one there. And again, this then detracts away from where you've done your joins. So you can kind of create, you know, a, almost like um, a distraction, should we say. Let's say a distraction from where you have joined your papers. I'm going to just do another tiny one just there. And then there we go. So we've made... Um, we've only used, well, we've used one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've broken into a seventh one just to cut out the greeting, but we've still got lots left, um, but that's made a really big eight by eight card, and again, you've made a, a, a big backing paper from your little sheets. It's really good, that. It's so cute, and a really good example of, like you say, how you can make those bigger cards um, from your little books because they're yeah. only tiny little things but yeah. it's nice to see that um, you can make those really big cards so next up I'm going to show you through the last three of our um, adorable scorable pattern packs this one is really luscious um, this is our paper and wood so Sheila used this enough in her first demonstration but this is really great so it's on my tastic which is perfect for stamping um, perfect for adding colour adding inks to um, you've got this beautiful sort of scrunched up paper. Now, I really like doing this, especially if I've got a rustic um, themed collection. I love scrunching up my cardstock or my papers to add layer um, and dimension to my card. But with using this, if I wanted this to be a certain colour, I could just ink over that and you're still going to get that scrunchy paper feel, but it's on a straight piece of plastic it's great you know it was really weird then natalie when i saw you holding it up on the screen i thought oh my goodness it's so realistic i thought why is she holding screwed up paper no. isn't that weird but it did look so realistic this one's really nice it's got that sort of like um you know when you're doing a science project for like history and you you get your tea bags oh, out yeah. and you, you tea bag your paper you've got that sort of effect on here that really sort of oldie scripty um paper that you see in like oldie worldie films. Next up, we have the beautiful scripts one. So this one, you can't actually read what it says, um, but it kind of looks like a really old themed, um, like a, a book you might find from years and years gone by. Um, it's got like loads of little scribbles in, you try and work out what it says. Um, so this is great. Another great background one there. Then we move on to some of our woods. So there's a nice selection of different styles of woods here. Um, this one's kind of like a laminate floor, I would feel. Yeah. Then you've got this beautiful one that Sheila used earlier. I love this one. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's going to look great in some of your projects. Next up, we have this one, which is um, like a grain the whole way across the page. Um, it's a really nice sort of light wood. 
um, this one, but it's it's going to work perfect. And the, the fact that you have so many different varieties of not only sort of that wood effect, but the wood effect in different ways. So you have like the wood that's going up, the wood that's going to the side, the wood that sort of looks like a bench. This one looks like our um, tabletop here. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's really, really good. Then next up, we have our rose, gold and black pattern card. So this is really nice. So it has um, a really nice sort of pattern running through um, in that rose gold tone. But then you have um, that lovely sort of duller rose gold throughout. This is really, really pretty. And it has sort of the reflection as well um, on the cardstock. That's not the light in here. Mm -hmm. That's actually how the cardstock is made to look. So it is really nice. You're going to be able to use these um, on some quite um, classier cards, I feel. And then in the same pack, you move on to rose gold and black. So it's again patterns, but in that black shape. These are one of my favorites. I love, love this one. Geometrics are totally in, and I know so many people are just in love with geometric patterns. That would be great for a birthday card. And then this wonderful marble, absolutely beautiful marble effect. Um, so that is your eight different designs that you're going to get in your rose gold and black pattern pack. Again, you are going to get three sheets of each because it is a pack of 24 in total. And then finally, to finish it off, um, we have the beautiful watercolour wash. So this, again, on Mattastic, meaning you can add more colour if you want to. You can create your own sort of ombre effects there. It's going to look great for die cutting. Um, it's in some fantastic sort of pastel shades. You've got your green, you've got yellow, a beautiful pink, a really nice lilac purple. Oh, you've got that beautiful darker green, um, but still in that pastel, pastel colourway. Beautiful blue, um, and another sort of bluey purple here. Um, they are, I really like this. I think for um, stamping, and if you're a stamper yourself, this is going to be fantastic because it sort of takes away the time that you would um, take to create this type of a background. You can just cut this down, put it onto your card, and you are ready to go. So $7.99 for each of those packs. There's six packs all together, but you can get three for under £20. So a great deal there. If there's three out of those packs that you want to get at home, that is a multi-buy that is not to be missed. So three for 19.98. Um, I would definitely, definitely buy these pound packs. They are so essential. Um, and they work great with our little books is why we're showing them together today. So next up, Sheila is gonna show you our little book of thank yous. And this is the last one. It is so this is our final uh, newbie for you and this covers um, a whole host of um, occasions not occasions obviously thank you occasions but we thank people for different things looking after the dog for you know bringing us a gift for just being kind um, for something they've done something they've made um, so in here we have got some really really um, fun things as well as some um, sense more sensible um, things as well so we've got just a token of my appreciation which is hilarious um, you are dynamite um, again very funny Muchas gracias with the cow on the which is hilarious. Um, you, I love that one. You are a top cat. Um, that is really funny. That one. We also have. Um, thank you for helping me grow. This is a. Uh, well, this could be used for all really kinds. Nice teacher card, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but again, somebody might be looking after your plants while you're on holiday, so that would be perfect for them as well. Mustache gracias. Oh my goodness, who writes these? Um, you are top dog. That's quite quirky, isn't it? I'm liking the, the font here. It's almost like dog biscuits as well. Um, so, and then we have a really big thank you. This, I like this. This is, uh, look at her eyelashes. Very cute. Really funny. Um, cheers, pal. Straight, straightforward, <laughs> straightforward. Uh, That's what I say most Fridays when I'm in the pub. Yeah, of course, yeah. Does he? Doesn't have to be for just men. <laughs> um, thanks, you rock. Obviously, perfect for the musicians. 
in your life. Uh, you are terrific. So punny. It is, isn't it? It's really clever. I do not know what I'd do without you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I uh, love that. Um, thanks a ton, obviously. Big elephant though, even though it's, uh, it's cute and quite uh, chubby. Thanks, that really put the cherry on top. <laughs> That's quite good, I like that one. And then we have, um, thanks, you're the sweetest. That cake looks amazing. And then we also have, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. So that's really cute too. We've got a, a couple more to show you. You really went above and beyond. That's nice with the hot air balloons. Like that. That's really, really nice. Uh, we also have, thanks a bunch, obviously. Nice big bunch of flowers there. We have, thanks for being my rainbow in the storm. That's nice too. Look at the little cloud here with a lovely, cute little smiley face on there. We have, you are super. That would be fabulous again for my great niece because every time they take a photo of her, she's doing that pose. Um, so yeah, that'd be perfect for her. Thanks, a latte. And then our final one. I think this is the final one. Oh no, we've got one more after this. You're a real diamond. And then our very last one. Just a note to say, thanks so much. Again, a bit more of a vintage theme on that one. So this is a really, really nice one. You know, we make thank you cards for so many people. Um, you know, I think it's a really important that you have this um, because it kind of says what, what you're thinking if you need to show your appreciation for someone. In so, um, in so many different ways as well. Yeah. Um, and it's all quite quirky. The artwork's really, really fun. Yeah. Um, and you can make some great cards with it. Um, like some of the ones that I have here to show you. Um, that cat, look at that cat. Um, and cute. this is just utilising um, some adorable scorable, cutting it up. Um, I think when you get little books like this, that's probably the best thing to do is to get your pages um, and have a look through your st uh, stash. See what colours work really well. This one is a lovely stepper guard made by Kelly. Um, utilizing some patterned cardstock there and um, you don't have to just make flat cards this one is a lovely easel that has that um, wonderful dinosaur on there we've got a really nice one again here which has got a um, little false front so that is just some acetate there on the front of your card this one is super cute a really big thank you um, with that whale on. Um, I love this one. I think it's such a good way um, of you showing how you can make some really fun cards. So this one has been done by Emma um, and she's just cut out certain areas and laid them on, um, but it's just such a good effect and it looks so um, sort of real and like they're coming out at you. <laughs> this one is also um, one of my favorites. Um, Rachel's done this one. Um, the fantastic little um, Mexican guy there with his maracas saying thank you very much. And I love the colourways in that one. It's so fun. Yes. Um, this one's very beautiful. Um, I love how cute this one is. Um, and I like how the letters on the top and the thanks have been decoupaged to just give that a little bit more dimension. It's a really nice but. Again, the best thing about this is that you can make cards like this that are so nice, um, but they don't wow. really take too long to make. Um, you just have to think a little bit crazy, a little bit out of the box, but there's so much that you can do with your little books. Um, Sheila, have you got one last demo? I have one last demo. Yes, I do, Natalie. And this time we're going to do an A5 card, and we're going to use um, the You're a Real Diamond with the fabulous shoes on, because these are... Um, well, they're just amazing shoes, aren't they? If only I could get some and wear them, but I cannot. They are too high for me. So what we're going to do, I thought, because it's kind of a bit disco uh, looking, we would use some of the Midnight Rainbow card, which is a uh, very kind of disco floor like. So we're going to use some of the spotty and we're going to use some of the stripes as well. I've cut some panels down and I thought, this is perfect. Look how amazing this is on our glitter card. It just has to have some glitter card on there as well to go with those shoes. And then we're going to bling it up a little bit. So first of all, 
I've already cut my card down to go onto the front of an A5 card blank. So we'll glue the um, glitter card on first and then we'll get some of the um, spotty on top of there. And so that we can um, bring in that lovely silver. And now we're going to put spots on top. So we're leaving um, a little edge of silver around the edge. So this would be perfect. You could get your number dies out on this. Maybe it'd be for someone who's um, maybe 18 or 21, 30, 40. Um, really, really nice um, design, I feel this is. So what I've got now is I've already cut a piece of silver down so that I can just layer my um, page onto it so we'll put that down now and then we're going to bring the stripes in as well and again with something like this you can let you, you're actually letting the page do the work for you just by adding layers and layers and look how striking that is again on those colors now um it's it's kind of really so really good. disco isn't it super funky it is so now we're going to take the stripes and we're going to put the stripes across here again onto another piece of the silver glitter card and this is going to go right to the edge we're just going to see silver at the top and the bottom and then this will go across the front of the card here now bear in mind that I want to have my topper about there. So it's up to you. Before you glue it down, you can either have it there, you can have it across the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here because I want to add some of our gemstone rolls onto here as well, just to give it that more blingy effect. So let's um, glue this on. And this will sit. So again, what we're going to do now, just pop my top of here just to see where I want that so roughly probably about half an inch or just over a centimeter from the from the bottom of your card pop that onto there okay so then this one is going to now go onto some foam pads so we're raising up the topper so let's do that and I'm just going to grab some more pads. It's amazing how quick we go through these foam pads in here. It really is. They're like the best thing ever. Um, so we'll pop six of those on, six of the square ones. Um, we love the square ones. We also love the rectangular ones as well. They're all uh, pretty good when you're doing stuff like this as well. When I think how many hours I've spent over the years with those the tiny square ones, which are really great for some things, um, but these are just like one of the best inventions ever. I couldn't, can't use tiny ones. No, I can't. No, it's too. It's like oh my goodness, it's too. Um, it takes too long. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop a strip of our um, gems across the bottom here. So I'm just going to snip in between there. Okay, and then we can peel this off. How amazing are these? Because these are all sticky. So if I can just get my nail under there and then we can peel it away. I think I've got it. Yes, I have. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is just grab the corners like that and we can put that onto there. So I'm putting it on the colored bits so it's covering the colors but it's then got black above and below so it stands out quite a bit and then what we're going to do we absolutely have to cut the shoes out of here put the shoes on and then we're going to add some gems to the shoes as well um so this would be i think this would be really good for someone who's just coming of age maybe else or for even like a prom Card. People send cards for proms now, don't they? Send cards for everything. Um, so there's no occasion you, know, you can't send a card. There's not. Them. You're absolutely right. We didn't have proms when I was at school, so we just had school disco, um, which I guess is the same thing, really. But we didn't get, you know, dressed up um, like everyone does now, like a proper proper do. That would have been quite amazing if we did. 
I'm going to quickly run through that competition question again. Um, so if you missed out earlier on, um, the competition question this week is um, to win our Golden Oldies Christmas Cracker Collection, um, which is worth 24 99 We're going to have four winners. We're going to announce them on Wednesday's show. The question you need to answer, um, you need to like, share and comment on this video, or you can go onto our website and um, answer the question there but it's how do you make an octopus laugh is it a damn telling a bad joke is it b with tentacles or is it c with a feather duster so for your chance to win this on our week win it weekly competition you just need to like share and comment with your answer and you could be chosen on friday's show fabulous that's a big kit isn't it it's a whopper it is a whopping kit so i really think you have concept that. cards in here You've got um, eight folds. You so, get eight yeah. eight toppers, um, eight printed cardstock, eight foiled. So you get eight, yeah. And then you get uh, eight decollage aperture cards included too, oh, with yeah. envelopes and inserts. So it's a great great kit. It's very funny as well, isn't it? There's some oh, really funny um, sentiments in there, and some hilarious. funny scenes. And of course, um, it's on Mattastic as well, isn't it? So it is. you can um, stamp on there and ink it and do all kinds with it. Okay, our last little shoe is going to go on there now. Um, we will just, these pads as well are perfect for this because you can cut the strips and then use them for the heels on the shoes. Um, so that's really, really good. And so we just need to take the backing off, pop these on, and then we're going to put a few gems on the shoes. You could put glitter on, actually. You could glitter them up, could, which would be, very, be um, cool. make it really crazy. You could put, like, um, if somebody was, maybe if it was for a 21st, you could put lots of 21s on, small ones, or you could do a big one here. Um, so what we'll do, let's just have a look if we have some of, yes, we do. Um, some of our Aurora Borealis, because these actually match the gems that we've used here from the gemstone roll. So what we're going to do is pop one or two just on the shoes, like that, so that when you have this standing on someone's uh, mantelpiece or fireplace or shelves, you'll be able to see it reflecting the light, because they do pick up lots and lots of different colours, um, these gems. They are quite amazing. And just pop that one on there. And then we're going to put a couple more. I think we might go, no, we'll keep with the small ones, I think, just for on this bit here so it doesn't take away from the rest of the card. There we go. And we'll do three on there. And then three on the other one. And then I just want these shoes. But I could never, could you walk in a pair of shoes like this, Natalie? You probably could, couldn't you? Um, okay. I probably could, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> I mean, one, you need an easy getaway. <laughs> there um, you go. Standing them, but that's about it. Yeah. Like kitchen party shoes, aren't they? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but there you go. I think that's really quite striking because you've got that kind of starburst coming out from behind. Um, but again, really it good. stands out. And that card is perfect. I think that cardstock is perfect for making that disco effect with those shoes it's lovely it's so good some really nice demos thank you Sheila. thank you and um, so all we have left to tell you now is our schedule of what is coming up so tomorrow on creating craft at half one and 8 15 you can see sheila um will launch our amazingly beautiful bohemian bliss collection um it's absolutely stunning so if you're around and about at half one tomorrow do not miss it because you're going to want to see um, the fantastic demos that Sheila does with that. Um, we're going to add a product to our rollover box. We're adding um, the Adorable Scoreboard Handbook Volume 3. This is great. It's full of all different sort of projects for Christmas, if you can see. I don't want to give you, don't want to give it away to everyone. But some great projects in here. Um, the Advent Calendar is my particular fave. This was a great sort of week's project last year um, <laughs> yeah it seems like so long ago now this. it was a it was it's a really, mammoth task really fun. so if you like doing things like this a great handbook for you so that's going into the rollover box 
Our next Facebook show is on Friday. Um, myself and Kelly will be doing that show. Thank Craft, it's Friday, so it's going to be fun. It's Friday. Um, we love a Friday here at Hunky Dory. Um, but thank you um, to everyone that joined us today for choosing uh, Hunky Dory. Um, we hope to see you on board again soon. But for myself and Sheila, we wish you a wonderful Wednesday. Um, have a great day, and we will see you very, very soon here on Hunky Dory Craft TV. Thank you.